Next up is bounce. A tennis ball drops and bounces and rolls using the arcade physics engine of Phaser. Bouncing balls. Okay, what are we supposed to do? Experiment with different values for gravity, drag, and bounce. Here's the ball graphic coming up. There it is. Here's the game. Um, here's gravity. It's at 1,000 now. Let's change it to 10,000. Well, I see a difference. They get uh, pulled down a little bit quicker. Let's try 100,000. I want to really see the effect. Ha! Huh. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Undo, undo. So back to the normal value. Then next we'll do bounce. So the bounciness is up here, and um, this is between zero. And, and one, really, but if you made it bigger than one, it would be as if it had a little battery and motor inside, and it added, added some height on each bounce. So if I change it to um, one, then you'll see that they should return to the place from which they fell. Not the place, but the height. So that's what bounciness does. And just to show you the kind of imagine they have a battery and a motor inside so they can increase so it'll go up even higher and then bounce off the top pretty soon it's going to be very hectic in here okay and putting that back and drag so this is the normal and then I'll change the drag let's see what that looks like maybe a hundred what happens? A little hard to tell. Well, that was interesting. Why are they lining up on top of each other? Ha! The, there's so much drag. Well, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure the relationship among the drag and the gravity, how that works. But um, it's fun to play with it. So let's just put that back to what it was. Um, another thing I don't have as an exercise, but if uh, something my students like to do is they, rather than have one ball come out each second, they'll have maybe um, 10 balls come out per second. Like that. Uh, they seem to enjoy that. Uh, this particular program destroys the balls after there are 10 of them, but if you changed it to 100, then... You could have 10 balls arriving a second, and you could keep 100 of them, of it, of them at a time. Now, that's kind of odd. Maybe they're coming out a little too fast to let natural-looking things happen. So two balls a second now, keeping 100. Is that two a second? Okay, put that back. All right, we did this and replaced the graphic with one that you draw or find, considering appropriate use. You can't just go and get a graphic from a web search and use it. You need to see if the people who made it want it to be used for your purposes. And a good tool for that is Creative Commons Search. And if I'm searching for, say, a basketball and I want to be able to modify, adapt, or build upon it. And I search Open Clip Art Library. Open Clip Art Library, everything in there, you can use without permission. You don't have to ask permission. You have it already. And so we could find a basketball and then download it. And we download it as a ping or a GIF. The G-I-F is pronounced GIF. The people who made it, CompuServe, said that that was how it was meant to be pronounced. So I respect that, even though others argue that that they think because of uh, that the G is for the word graphics, that it should be a hard G. 
I think the respecting the naming of the creator of it overrides any such uh, justifications. Um, okay, so to replace the graphic, then you just drag it into here if you're using Repl.it. You might call it basketball.ping, and then here you would change this to basketball.ping. Okay, that's it for bounce.